are trespassing. Yeah. Please leave the area. See that? This area is under video surveillance and you have been recorded. Yeah. I am actually here at the front gate of the infamous Skinwalker Ranch. What was inside of this big backpack was this red pouch of pigment. And there's a whole big ball of red ochre sitting in there. We're gonna have to figure out a way to climb up and over this. We're in. Wow, that is so cool. Definitely a grinding stone. This is just amazing. Sure enough. Yeah, if any of the security comes out, I know all those guys, but you're right, we shouldn't trespass. Insane. <laughs> um, and the tech, the portal tech, they've got it. Yeah. There's petroglyphs right there. Look at this. Wow. So cool. Yes, look at that. Look at the red ochre pigment. Whoa. People with the severed head. That's why they call this head unders. Like he's like holding it on a string. There is a connection between the paranormal, UFOs, and the myths of ancient history. The clues are scattered across the landscape from a forbidden past, maybe even in your own backyard. There is a connection between the true nature of our reality, consciousness, and the unexplained. I'm Carl the Crusher. Let's explore the unknown. Now I am following Lane. Uh, Caleb actually had to split off to go to a family thing and then I'm meeting up with him back at Skinwalker Ranch headquarters in about an hour and a half or so. And then uh, Lane and I are actually driving down right past Skinwalker Ranch on the south side of it because we think there might be another medicine wheel out there and Lane has actually talked to the property owner and got permission for us to go out there and see if that's what it is. If it is, then that would mean that the wagon wheel that we started with at the beginning of the day, all the way up to what's at Skinwalker Ranch and past it to the south, all fall in some line. And maybe the center point of a big wheel or something like that in the entire basin is um, like right, maybe the hub is at Skinwalker Ranch and we just need to expand our field of vision. So, we're going to try and take a look and see what we can find on this private property down here and then uh, meet up with Caleb and hopefully I'll get to film doing a little bit around the headquarters at Skinwalker Ranch, maybe walking around the homestead, but I know they're going to be doing the uh, Skinwalker Ranch Insiders podcast um, and live show that they're doing on that website. If you want to watch that, check the links down in the description below on my link tree to find everything and how to follow and uh, join those insider pages. Um, but hopefully I'll be able to walk around and do some stuff on the ranch tonight besides just sitting in the headquarters. But it is what it is. If that's all I get to do with a short amount of time. I'm just uh, really grateful for the opportunity to come up here and spend this day with Don, to go out there in the valley and look at this amazing indigenous art, to work with Lane and meet a lot of the people here that live in the community and, and Caleb as well and the opportunity to go and collaborate with these guys and share evidence is just incredible. Here we are back again, driving under the big power lines. And this is the mesa on the right that runs right along Skinwalker Ridge to the ranch. So right up here and probably about a half a mile, if we turn right, would take us right to the main gate. We're not gonna do that right now. We're still gonna follow the lane, but I just wanna give you guys context as to exactly where we are and where we're headed, how we've gone from the north side 
all the way around, basically done circle after circle around Skinwalker Ranch, exploring the ancient artifacts and lost evidence and, and clues that could be connected to this place and what's going on here, especially through the Native American connection. And wow, working with Don, what an eye opener. So yeah, as we pull up right here, right where this motorcycle is on the right, that is the road if we turn right there to go all the way down there to, to uh, Skidwalker Ranch. You notice there is houses, people that live in the community right down here on their, on their reservation. It is all uh, just a way of life to be right here on the ranch. Now, if you went from the wagon wheel where we started this morning and you flew like a bird or an arrow straight over the top of Skinwalker Ranch almost, you would land on the opposite side, sort of to the southwest of Skinwalker Ranch and right where we are right now. So it would be very interesting. I was even looking off to the side of the road thinking, man, if there is anything out there off the road, I bet it's up here where all these giant boulders are in the gap in the canyon. And then all of a sudden we're turning left onto this dirt road. Sure enough, it's exactly where we're headed. All right, Lane, so we were, you were just saying uh, something about the wagon wheel and the missing piece. Yeah, so I was thinking on the way over here, Carl, he noticed how uh, the wagon wheel had a bigger, basically, section of the pie than the rest. And I was thinking that that's basically right in line with this yellow line here that I have that we're looking at today. So this is where we're headed, right? Or is that where the where we're driving right now? So we're here headed to that. Yep. And you traced a line from that to the wagon wheel we were at this morning. Right. And if you follow that line up, where does it go right over the top of? So it goes all the way up here. Oh my word. And right, right over there it is. Look at that, wait, ranch. look at that. That's, that is, goes right over the headquarters. Look at that. That line between these wheels goes right over the headquarters. Because the helipad right, <laughs> right, <laughs> right over the helipad, yeah. right over Homestead 1. Look at that line. Okay, now follow, keep the line going up. Okay. <laughs> Let's go all the way to the other wheel. This okay. is so crazy. I know this is a glare on there. This is a sacred stone. That's another there. sacred stone there. Okay. At this ranch. <laughs> My word. It's okay. It's okay. We'll keep going. <laughs> this is just happening as it is, guys. Oh my word. Here's Fort Duchesne. So this is the line still going up to where we started this morning with that wagon wheel. <laughs> We're just sitting here on the side of the road. Right here, guys. This is it. how it happens, Casey. The, the line goes up and then boom, right onto the wagon wheel. And that piece of the pie that's missing uh, is on the this end so it makes a triangle like an arrow point in the opposite way follow that line like an arrow almost like a compass and it goes right over the top of homestead one headquarters of the helipad yep. and then exactly to where we're headed next onto maybe another medicine wheel okay we've got this in on the passenger seat now so this is <clears throat> right where we are and where we think there might be this stone circle right here in the middle. See that? Looks like a big circle. Okay, so trace it up and we'll show you where it goes. <clears throat> Follow it in a straight line. And you said there's another artifact on the other side of Skinwalker, but here it goes right over Homestead 1. <laughs> the vast distance here, how it lines up, yeah. is so crazy to me. <laughs> People don't understand. <laughs> Look, oh my gosh, right over the middle of where I'm going to be going tonight <laughs> with Caleb. Okay, 
So cool. Mm -hmm. And then what is that? That's the sacred stone circle that they found on the Skinwalker Ranch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah, you can see it. That's So that's the big one, yeah, that they're talking about now in season four. And then you go up further, and it's to the wagon wheel. Yep. Immediately right on the... So how, over this far of a distance, that did indigenous, native, archaic people, Native Americans, keep it in such a straight line, know, right? Lane? How did they see have, that? No, it had been star navigation or something. The stars. Oh, man. And I'm still not convinced that this isn't a mound with something in it. And honestly, Chris Bartell thinks that the East Valley where that stone circle is on Skinwalker Ranch, uh, that there's a mound there that's a burial as well. But we've never told anybody that yeah. till right now. Awesome. <laughs> so we're not even sure if this is anything, right? Right. So there's one quietest one here in the center. Right there, yeah. Is the center stone and then the big boulders around. so it's on a hill actually even right. though on google earth it doesn't look like it's on a hill i wonder if we're going to find any artifacts or carvings or something else here right. <clears throat> i don't know okay let's look so this is what it looks like it points to something here i wonder let's just have a look because from overhead it totally looks like a giant circle <clears throat> right? right. Any petroglyphs or anything, I wonder? Maybe. There's definitely bullet holes up there, yeah. Now I'm a little spooked because I ran into that big freaking snake earlier. <laughs> now I've got snake on the brain. <laughs> some bullet holes interesting but then maybe it's nothing because I just walked through the whole circle and coming all the way around this entire mesa looking for anything I don't even see any petroglyphs nothing and that whole stone circle from overhead that looks like it's all right in the line when you get up here it's actually just a natural formation and there's not anything here so i don't know i don't know maybe you have to go further to there or keep looking maybe we're wrong and it's not aligned properly but maybe there's something else here and we're missing it too Yeah, you can see here now from overhead, it is like a giant circle on a hill. It's, it is kind of similar to the one on the ranch, right? But I don't know. It looks natural to me, but maybe they used the natural formation and considered it part of the alignment. I don't know. Definitely natural. I don't know how anyone will be able to move rocks this Yeah, way. they didn't move them for sure. We thought maybe that this might have been petroglyphs, but it just looks like the way the algae has grown on there or something like that. But Lane, you picked up this, what I thought was a rock that has all these bumps on it, but what is it? It's coral, fossilized coral. Coral? Yeah. And all of this is coral, you said, like you. Yeah. Uh, you see if you'll get on this rock. Wow. All bumpy. So this was all under salt water? Yeah. Part of the Lake Bonneville. Lake Bonneville. So all of this would have been underwater and uh, 
maybe really, really prehistory people could have been using like reed boats around these. Yeah. This would have all been underwater. That's unreal. Yeah, look at it down. Down here you can totally see the coral pattern. That's crazy. Look at that. This whole hillside. I don't know. It's an interesting spot, man. Yeah. Okay, I just got the call. Um, they're getting ready to do the Skinwalker Ranch Podcast Insiders uh, broadcast live. And Caleb just called me and said he's waiting for me basically at the front gate. So I'm coming up on Skinwalker Ridge right now and uh, gonna go check in and we'll see what we do tonight. I don't know how much walking around I'm gonna do, but I've got my whole backpack full of gear behind me and man, my phone's been draining. My external battery packs have been draining like crazy all day, uh, especially up at the handprints and stuff. But okay, here we go, on to Skinwalker Ranch. I will do the best that I can to film when I can, try not to make any promises and get anybody's hopes up about what I'm gonna be able to do. But um, we'll see. Here we go guys, this is where I'd normally everybody has to stop and uh, I get to go in. infamous corrals where the cattle supposedly got stuck and everything walking right up on the headquarters right now and they're just getting ready to start the podcast so I'm going to be careful going in there and just vlog what it's like walking up on the porch here here's the front deck of the command center and right behind me there is the helipad where they fly the helicopter in that's out into the main room in the kitchen here. And look at this. This is all the screens right here. The guys are out there just getting ready to start their podcast for the Skinwalker Ranch Insiders page. So make sure to check it out. They've got all their live stream cams all hooked up with the telemetry outside going live. This is all like everything going on with the sky view flight traffic and everything. And this is like... This is where it all happens. This is where Eric Bard sits. Right here and does the work and he's got scopes and all kinds of stuff. It's absolutely crazy. What is this book? Remarkable Luminous Phenomena in Nature. Hmm. Yeah, look at this place. It's an actual 
research lab. See, so you can go on the Insiders page and access all these live cams and see everything that's going on on the ranch all the time, right? And they've got all this scientific gear to be able to do analysis on samples and everything. It's pretty amazing. Oh, what just happened? I didn't touch anything. You <laughs> the whole screen went black. Um, for a second, all right, you know, I do. Just like that. <laughs> I wonder if that's the HDMI. Big oh. metal please. Now that's going to create ringing, you know, black and white bands all the way down, and it might uh, shadow or, or interfere with our ability to see things deeper. Um, so it's not entirely clear exactly what kind of a shape we're dealing with. We've inferred some things about the shape from the initial horizontal drilling exercise, you know, where we did hit something that appeared to be, um, you know, it was, it was a convex shape. It was basically, uh, we described it as a dome, mm -hmm. um, but, but really inverted. So there's a lot, there's a lot to be learned still. Um, and just behind where that, that opening was that Chris Bartell showed us. Mm -hmm. and, and the hope was that if it was a collapsed cave, when we got back there, maybe we could punch through and find the void. Um, but when we start, when Aaron went to start angling the bit to come up, uh, that's when he hit that hard surface that we, he couldn't get uh, to penetrate through. And so the, the thing about that was, is it was pretty close to the face of the Mesa. Yeah. Because I mean, we didn't get in very far no. before he started to try to make the ascent up with the drill bit and hit that. So yeah, it was just taking him down. It wasn't until he got much deeper in there before he was even able to begin uh, yeah. making up for progress. But the depth of that is a really close match to what we're seeing on the GPR data that's ringing down. Um, as far as where that looks like it stops on the GPR, not to your point, it could just be, uh, you know, yeah, what'd ring. you call that? I, oh, ringing. Ringing. Uh, you know, it, um, it would require really an area scan and the use of some additional software tools to get a sense of what the actual shape is, but uh, it certainly is tantalizing to see such a strong return. And the depth on that was about almost identical to what the depth was on the drill on, the, on that first exercise. Yeah.
there and they're still doing the uh, live stream podcast so hopefully this dog doesn't come up and bark at me too much i just thought i would walk you guys out here this is the command center here and these are the silos out here and if you walk out here on the helipad behind the property this is all skinwalker ranch skinwalker ranch all up behind me here the line that we were talking about goes right through the sidewalk here through the helipad out here I just wanted to step out, kind of get out of their hair, so I'm not just like staring at them while they do the live show. You know? Plus, it's kind of cool before the sun goes down. I can walk you guys out here, and you can see the actual ranch itself. Now, I haven't ever actually been into the different homesteads and everything, but here's the main gate out here by the helipad, where you've got these really cool <laughs> biohazard alien symbols right here on the science and then out in the distance behind me you can see during the bigelow era where they had the the uh animal pens the dog runs and where they put llamas and stuff in there but this is where a lot of stuff has happened and even right over there where that road goes through is where um caleb and travis taylor actually saw that thing that uh, strange geometric object actually move across the ditch bank right over there and they followed it uh, right up there in the gap. So it's fascinating to be here. The stories of the cows, the stories of the, the giant wolf creature coming up here to the pens and trying to grab one of the calves all basically happened right here at the Skinwalker Ranch headquarters. And then not to mention, further up the road there, you've got Homestead 2, Homestead 3, and clear out there at Homestead 2 is where they've done so many different paranormal experiments and um, different kinds of stuff even during the Bigelow era when Chris Bartell was here. And there has been a ton of paranormal activity occurring in and around Homestead 2 that people have uh, experienced. And it's just pretty wild to be here especially right at sunset. So I'm just gonna pan my camera around for you guys, let you see everything and then take some pictures, go back inside and enjoy the Skinwalker Ranch Insiders crew um, and everything that they're doing on there. They're doing an awesome show on there. I just wanted to kind of get out of their hair, come out here and let you guys see this place. totally surreal right inside there I have my whole backpack with my thermal imager my night vision and all that stuff my spirit box they're inside there doing the podcast for the Skinwalker Ranch insider crew um, <laughs> and I'm just kind of out here giving them space but it's kind of mind-blowing to me you guys that I'm actually here at Skinwalker Ranch I appreciate your support so much making all of this possible for me but being right here behind me at the end of this mesa is the triangle formation and above me in the sky right behind my head could be that object right now or anywhere above us it could be a ufo a uap it could be that cloaked object or whatever is creating that all the anomalies where they've been firing the rockets and everything this is happening right here in the sky it's pretty surreal it could be that close right now to a UFO buried under the ground. Could be closer than just about anybody on the planet ever gets. It's right out here. That's surreal. You guys help me look.
What a beautiful place though, right? It's a beautiful place, guys. Look at this place, wow. Hello, hello UFO. On behalf of everyone in the Crusher crew, we send good intentions and good vibes, goodwill. We have no ill harm or any kind of bad intentions here we are excited to meet whatever's going on so if there is any kind of telepathic communication or a guardian over this land it would be really amazing to meet you for all the right reasons if there was ever a time that the world needed it to understand what's going on And just go directly back into the headquarters. I figure, why, why don't we just do a little loop around here and show you guys around the property. Just a little bit of a behind the scenes glimpse. I'm trying to stay calm just walking around alone out here, knowing what I know. I mean, is this where the wolf came up to the gate and tried to pull the calf through? Could have occurred right here, right through these cables, through this fence right here. Just get a sense, this is the cattle pen where all these prize bulls and cows running around in here got all wedged in there. Check this out. Can you imagine? Like a whole herd of cows right in here, all basically getting shoved into this one pen right here, into this, they come back here and this door is shut, and this whole thing is wedged, closed, and they had to open that door to get all the cows out, because something had stuffed all the cows inside this one small trailer. It's pretty wild. So we're just gonna walk a little loop around the property here and right up here on the road is where that glowing geometric shape appeared in front of Caleb and Travis from the way that they described it. Caleb reenacted the whole thing to me. They're still like old, original farm equipment and stuff here. It's pretty surreal. Yeah, right here on the ditch bank. Right where I'm standing, this glowing 
rectangular or strange shape like appeared right here and they were standing basically uh, like right over here in this area and they saw it and then um, the object basically moved in this direction and went up that, into that canyon and so Caleb and Travis basically ran up here Caleb drew his gun and they turned the corner and they chased after whatever it was it looked like a, this cloaked object or something and they tried to run up there into the boulders chasing after it and then they never found anything but there's been all kinds of like creepy strange stuff that has happened even right here all of that that thing appeared like right here and then moved this way and basically went up across the ditch bank all the way up over here i'm definitely not supposed to be going over here by myself so i'm not going to go very far but it's actually really beautiful what in the world it could have ran up that canyon and where did it go So far, just a beautiful evening, I would say. What an awesome, unique experience, you guys, to be able to be here at Skinwalker Ranch headquarters. They're all in there, the guys. They're all real people. They've got families, they've got jobs, they've, uh, and then they've got the whole TV show and everything to deal with, and they're in there right now doing the Skinwalker Ranch insider stuff, um, trying to hold down the fort. Not to mention, figure out what in the world could be in the sky right up there. What could be buried underground out there? What was all the research about going on over there at the homestead too? We still don't know everything that went on there. How much of it uh, <laughs> has to do with the paranormal? How much of it has to do with human consciousness and human potential? Or is there a UAP? UFO in the sky right up here. If you guys haven't been watching the TV show, make sure and go check it out. And also all the other stuff that I've been doing. I still don't know what I get to do tonight, but it's a really awesome opportunity just to be here. So I'm trying to soak it all in, give you guys as much of it as you can. Everybody on the Skinwalker Ranch crew, including Brandon Fugel, have been really awesome uh, to me. Um, help me with my research and everything that I've been doing trying to connect the mysteries between all of these locations from Skinwalker Ranch to Mount Wilson Ranch to a whole bunch of other places. I mean, that's a whole other thing that we're going to do. Caleb is still planning on coming to Mount Wilson Ranch with me as well as Chris Bartell and others coming back um, to check all that out to see if these indigenous medicine wheels actually connect to what could be up on top of the mesa here. Uh, where the Navajo stone um, stone hinge or stone circle could be. Here I am back at this strange spot where they saw the geometric shape basically run up the canyon. But I've just been kind of walking around, taking pictures and getting a sense for the place. And it's been a totally different experience being here this time compared to the last time that I was here. Um, but it is uh, cool and surreal to wonder what could be in the sky or underground right up there, how it could all connect, what is the Native American connection, and how can we apply modern research and science and techniques in order to try to get to the bottom of it. And just like what we've been doing here, working with Don, working with Roger and Colleen, working with the actual Native American people who understand what a lot of these artifacts and things that we're finding actually mean. And uh, um, I'm actually going the wrong way to the wrong house, so I gotta go up here to the headquarters. And I was actually kind of tricking the dog because this dog doesn't like me too much, but anyway. Um, it's been such a cool experience and being able to share it with you guys is a one of a kind, unique opportunity and I appreciate you so much. So I'm just gonna go back in to the headquarters here.
Homestead 1. I don't know if I'm even going to get a chance to go down to Homestead 2 or do any more investigating, but I mean, I'll go back in there, make sure they're not worried about what I'm doing out here, wandering around by myself. But it's just so cool to sit here and wonder what could really be going on. Okay, I'll let you know what else we get to do, but I'm going to go back inside sit on the couch, be quiet, let them finish their podcast show, and uh, just appreciate the fact that I'm here and get to share as much as I just got to share with you guys. And I'm telling you, so much more to come. Mount Wilson Ranch uh, and beyond, and all of this stuff that we're doing, Caleb's gonna be coming, tons of cool stuff going on, so stay tuned. And he says, hey, you know how these words go up? They go the wrong way? Mm -hmm. Turn the picture the wrong way. He goes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it. it it's, yeah, it looks just like it. It's kind of there, isn't it? And he was like, uh, so again, I, I, he, he keeps trying to do this stuff with the with the lines and stuff. You know, we're saying this lines up with that, and the stars and this up and this and that. Like, who the hell cares? What significance could possibly have? I noticed, Eric, that's why you bring that up, yeah. is if you took and you trace this like this, uh -huh. it does the exact same thing. Uh-huh. Okay. There goes Caleb. What an amazing experience in the evening here at Skinwalker Ranch. We had a really awesome conversation in there with with Eric, Thomas, and Caleb. Um, just able to talk about all kinds of stuff, the work that I've been doing with the stone circles and the aspects of the native indigenous artifacts and how it works in conjunction with the quantum entanglement theories, how it creates dimensional time warps and loops. And, uh, what we're calling portals and things might be all in conjunction with that. And, you know, we had this really awesome conversation about all that kind of off camera and off the cuff and uh, just got to hang out and get to know each other. But we're also planning to go up to Mount Wilson Ranch, um, investigate all of that together in the future and do a lot of other cool stuff. You know, I've been invited to come back here and do more, um, you know, before they film for the next season of the show to be able to come and do maybe some work on the homesteads and do other things around the property but right now what a calm and beautiful night it's still mysterious to wonder what could be right up there in the sky it's such an amazing place with such interesting history